Hello everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In our previous videos, we have discussed direct method for calculating arithmetic mean in case of discrete series. In this video, we'll be discussing assume mean method for calculating arithmetic mean in case of discrete series. So we have discrete series over here. So, assume mean method is used when series have large numerical values and to make our calculation simpler, we use assume mean method. So now, the formula for calculating arithmetic mean using assume mean method is A plus summation FD divided by summation F. So where A is assume mean F is frequency and D is a deviations. D is our deviations from assume mean. We can also write D as X minus A. So, D is equal to X minus A. So, these are deviations from assume mean. So, this is the formula. Now, uh, let's look at this question. Following are the wages of 19 workers. Wages of workers are given in rupees. So, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. And these, uh, these are their corresponding frequencies. So, number of workers are 4, 5, 3, 2 and 5. This represents frequencies. Now, calculate the arithmetic mean using assume mean method. So, we have this question. So, we have uh, in the first column, we have our wages. In the second column, number of uh, workers represent frequencies. Now, uh, let's calculate deviations. So, we have deviations as D is equal to X minus A. Now, uh, let's take assume mean to be 30. We can take assume mean to be any number between 10 to 50. So, in this case, we take assume mean to be 30. Uh, you, could you can take assume mean to be any number between 10 to 50. So, let's calculate deviations. So, D is equal to X minus A. So, uh, in this case, X is equal to 10. So, we have 10 minus 30, which gives us minus 20. Next, 20 minus 30, which gives us minus 10. Next, 30 minus 30, which gives us 0. 40 minus 30, this gives us 10. Next, 50 minus 30, this gives us 20. Now, we'll calculate FD. This is a formula. So, we have um, F into D. 4 into tw minus 20. This comes out to be minus 80. 5 into minus 10. This comes out to be minus 50. Uh, here we have 3 multiplied by 0. This comes out to be 0. Then we have 2 multiplied by 10. This comes out to be 20. Next we have 5 multiplied by 20. This comes out to be 100. So basically what we are doing in this case is let's take this as 2 and this as 3. So basically what we are doing is 2 multiplied by 3. So we are multiplying column 2 and column 3. Now uh, as we need to find out summation FD, we are going to find summation FDs. So these are our negative deviations and these are our positive deviations. So we'll add this. So minus 80 minus 50 gives us minus 130 and 20 plus 100 gives us 120. So what we have summation as 
सो माइनस वन थर्टी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी दिस गिव्स अस माइनस टेन सो दिस गिव्स अस माइनस टेन नाउ वी हैव समेशन एफ सो फोर प्लस फाइव नाइन नाइन प्लस थ्री ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्लस टू फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस फाइव नाइनटीन so now we'll calculate arithmetic mean so the formula for calculating arithmetic mean is x bar is equal to a plus summation fd divided by summation f so where a is our assume mean which is equal to 30 summation fd is equal to So summation F D is equal to minus ten. And we have summation F that is sum of our frequencies. So we have this as ninety. So this is ninety. Now substituting these values in this formula, what we get is x bar is equal to thirty minus ten divided by ninety. So ten divided by nineteen. This gives us minus zero point five three, and therefore arithmetic mean comes out to be twenty nine point four seven. So this is our uh, this is our value of arithmetic mean using assume mean method. That's it for this video. In a future videos, we'll be discussing step deviation method for calculating arithmetic mean in case of discrete series. So do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.